Good afternoon, everyone. I am Village of North Aurora Mayor Dale Berman. Thank you for joining us this Veterans Day. Honoring our veterans is incredibly important, and so too is the health and safety of our village residents. Given the current pandemic climate, this year the Village of North Aurora is hosting our Veterans Day ceremony virtually. I now invite you to watch our digital Veterans Day ceremony presentation. Once more, thank you for joining us to honor our veterans today. I am Village of North Aurora Mayor Dale Berman. I am also an Army veteran, having served our country after the Korean War for two years, and I am humbled and proud to speak before you today. Now, Veterans Day is a special holiday that honors all of those who have served and continue to serve in all branches of the United States military. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. For a little history, Veterans Day was originally called Armistice Day due to the fact that it fell on November 11th, the anniversary of the signing of the Armistice that ended World War I, the war to end all wars. In 1954, it was changed to Veterans Day in order to account for all veterans and all wars. This year's Veterans Day ceremony looks a little different, I'm sure. We're unable to come together in person due to the pandemic and in the interest of everyone's safety. But that does not mean we cannot come together to give thanks to the brave men and women who have served and are serving our country. And it does not mean that we cannot continue to show our support to those who protect us, protect our country, and protect our freedom. We can carry that support and honor far beyond this single day. 
It is important to honor our veterans today, yes. But it is also just so, if not more important, that we continue to give our veterans respect, honor, and thanks every day of the year. Again, thank you veterans for your service and God bless. Good evening. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our veterans and their families for their service to our country. As the son of a Korean War veteran in the United States Army, my dad didn't talk about his service much, except to teach us that with all of our differences and disagreements, as Americans, we share one overarching truth, which is that we live in the greatest, freest, and most prosperous country that in the history of mankind. And that wouldn't be possible without the service and sacrifice of our veterans and their families. So from me and my family, I thank you from the bottom of our heart. Thank you and God bless America. I'm Laura Curtis and I would just like to thank all of our veterans for their years of service and God bless you and God bless America. Good day everyone. I'm Village Trustee Mark Afino of North Aurora. I'm honored to be able to be here today to say a few words regarding Veterans Day. Today we honor all veterans, past and present, who sacrificed their lives for our freedom. So if you see a veteran today, give them a big high five or an elbow bump. Have a great day and God bless. Hi, Trustee Mark Gately here. I'd like to say thank you to all of our veterans. We honor you for your service and your commitment to our great country. The Great War ended with the Treaty of Versailles on June 28, 1919. However, the fighting ceased seven months earlier between the Allied nations and Germany on the 11th hour on the 11th day of November 11th. For that reason, President Wilson proclaimed Veterans Day on November 11th. The act was amended in 1954 and replaced armistice with veterans to honor veterans of all wars. Later that same year, President Eisenhower issued the first Veterans Day proclamation and designation of the chair of the Veterans Day National Committee. Now, today, Secretary of Veterans Affairs has served as the committee chair in cabinet level position. The real purpose of Veterans Day is to celebrate, is to honor American veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve, and to sacrifice for the common good. Thank you all very much for your service. Hello, I'm Mike Lowry, North Aurora Village Trustee. I just want to take a moment to thank, genuinely thank, the veterans of the United States in all the military services. I realize that it takes a great deal of sacrifice to offer yourself and a part of your life, and perhaps for some, their entire life, in service to the United States for the protection of all of us and to preserve our freedom and our right to pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. Thank you again on this day, and I want to especially recognize the sacrifice you have made. Thank you. Greetings on this special and unusual day, special in that it's Veterans Day, unusual in that we're 
not able to gather together. My name is Ken Carr. I'm one of the pastors at Living Hope Church here in North Aurora. I also served in the United States Air Force as a chaplain for 32 years. It is an a, a honor to be greeting you today on this Veterans Day. Those of you who are my brothers and sisters in the military service of the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, Coast Guard, Reserves, and also the National Guard. I think of my son on this day who's presently deployed in the Middle East and we look forward to having him back sometime soon. But it makes me thankful for his service but also for yours through the years. And what I'd like to do just briefly today is to offer up a prayer for you and then a brief benediction. Let me pray. Our God and Father, we thank you for this day that's set apart to remember and honor uh, those who have served in our military or are still serving in our military. We thank you for our country and for all the freedoms that, that we enjoy. We thank you for those who have served in the military, uh, both near and far, stateside and around the world. We pray your, your blessing, your protection upon them. And Father, for any who have uh, served that are listening to uh, this video today, very thankful for their service. You're a God who, who loves service and has served us in so many tangible ways. So thank you for that and bless each one. And now for a brief benediction, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Hello, I am David Fisher, Chief of Police of the North Aurora Police Department. For the past several years, it has been my honor to be involved in the Veterans Day gathering that usually takes place at the North Aurora Veterans Memorial. Unfortunately, this year, we are unable to do that. But I still feel fortunate that I am able to personally thank each and every veteran who has so bravely served this country in times of war and peace. Every veteran, whether alive or past, should hold a special place in every American's heart. Veterans have sacrificed so much for our freedoms, some with their own lives. As we thank friends, family, and acquaintances that have served, or are still serving, let's remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice as I read the names of the North Aurora veterans whose names are on our memorial wall. Bernard Richard Blasage, United States Marine Corps, World War II. Francis E. Rippinger, United States Army, World War II. Wilbert P. Meyer, United States Army, World War II. Leonard J. Wenmacher, United States Army, World War II. Paul Theodore Allen, United States Army, Korean War. Timothy Ryan, United States Marine Corps, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Christopher A. Patterson, National Guard, 713th Engineer Company, Operation Enduring Freedom. I would also like to take this time to recognize officers from my department who have served in the military. Sergeant Michael Quinn, United States Navy. Officer John Curlin, United States Army. Officer Paul Ivani, United States Air Force. Officer Chris Joswick, United States Marine Corps and Officer Michael Robinson, Army National Guard. Thank you again to all of the veterans from North Aurora, as well as across the country and overseas. Because of you, we remain the best country in the world in which to live.
going. 